So most washer dryer sets come set up from the factory so the washer's on the left and the dryer's on the right. Well, what if your house is set up backwards? Well, at least in my opinion, it's backwards. Now you've got the dryer on the left side, and every time you go to empty the clothes from the washer to the dryer, the dryer door is just in the way. Well, did you know that your dryer door is most likely reversible? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do just that. Reverse the dryer door. Now, the dryer I'm working on in the video just happens to be in a mana, but the principles I'm going to show you should transfer across most brands, even though the procedure may be slightly different. Okay, so without further ado, let's dive right in. Okay, so some of the things you're going to want to look for, for example, right here is our catch. Now, if you look on the other side of the door there, we have this square cover. That catch can move to the other side. Over here is our hinge. And on the other side there, we have this piece of tape that's covering our hinge hole. So those kind of clues, when you see those, you know your door is going to be switchable. All right, so let's go ahead and remove the hinge first. We're going to remove the hinges from the door itself. And then after that, we're going to remove the hinges from the dryer and move them over. We got to move those hinges to the other side of the door. So that's why we got to take them off of the door frame too. So let's just go ahead and pull that off. Now it's good to leave the top screw in the hinge until last. That way uh, you don't drop your door. All right, let's take this hinge off and move it to the other side. And we'll remove this piece of tape and we'll put this piece of tape back on the other side where the old hinge used to be. You might have a square cover there, a plastic cover. Either way, doesn't matter. Now I do like to tighten my hinges up with a hand screwdriver just to make sure I don't overpower it with the drill and strip the threads. And I'll do the bottom hinge too. I'm not going to show that part. And we might as well re uh, remove our catch and move the catch to the other side while we're right here. Easier to get to with the door off of there. So we'll switch those two out. All right. Now we have to move our catch. We have to switch it, the square cover and the catch to the other side. And in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and remove the door skin on the outside. The inner part of the door has to stay the same. We can't switch that part. So we'll just take out the screws around the perimeter. I think there was like four or five of them. I don't remember. And then we'll separate the two halves right there. And now we can get to this stuff from back right here. So we'll go ahead and pull those out. That way we can switch them over. And then this plastic cover, it just snaps back in on the other side. I'm not going to show that part. And we'll move our catch over here and just push it down. All right. Now we can put the door skin back on, making sure the handle's on the right. The inner part of the door stayed the same. We didn't flip that because there's like a D pattern there and that has to stay the same. So we'll go ahead and put our screws in around the perimeter of this door skin. If you're finding any value in this video, please click that like button below and subscribe to this channel. I come out with videos like this as often as I can. Okay, so back to the video. And we'll hang the door back on the hinges. Pretty simple job, right? There's not much to it. it takes about a half an hour, 40 minutes, something like that. Okay. There we go. That's all there is to flipping a door. Thanks for watching.